Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good morning, saints. Good morning and welcome to this morning's resurrection service. We had a wonderful time this morning. Amen. We had some good food. So I need y'all to be loud this morning to keep me awake. Hey, hey, you know how about it is when you get some food in your stomach. I just want to let you know the order of service for this morning. We're going to start off with scripture, which will be given by Miss Kayla Jones, followed by Andrew Anna Santos uh, with the uh, prayer. Amen. After the prayer, Amen. after the prayer, the dancers will come. The dancers will come. And then after the dancers will be followed with um, narrative that will be given by our young people about their self-identity. For those who have been doing the, did the 40 days of um, self-identity, um, this is a, a good tie into that as we're working on finding out what our self-identity in Christ is as we work towards becoming closer to our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you for your listening ear. After, after the, um, tell you what we'll do, we'll do one more song, Joshua, and then we'll go into the order that I gave you. Ladies, you can come up now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You're worthy to be praised! God is good. Ain't he good? Oh, hallelujah, you're worthy. Hallelujah, we praise the name. Hallelujah, so worthy. Hallelujah, Lord, we lift you up. Hallelujah, you're worthy. Hallelujah, we praise the name. Hallelujah, so worthy. Hallelujah, Lord, we lift you up. 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 
Sunday. Yeah. This is the reason why we're here today. Yeah. We need to lift him up. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Go ahead. Lift him. Lift him up. 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 Lift The word for your listening ear. I thought somebody would shout right now if somebody got up from a grave. Sunday worship. Amen. What better time than to let the young people know that he is risen. And today they rise and they take the floor yeah. to show you how good God has been in them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on now, Miss Kayla. Good morning, Greater Apathenia. Today I will be reading scripture Matthew chapter 28, verse 5 through 6. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, For not ye for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. I'm going to stand right here with you. You just pray from your heart, baby. Good morning, Greater. Good morning. And good morning, God. Thank you for allowing us to be able to come into this church on this beautiful Sunday morning. It is the fifth Sunday and we are worshiping your resurrection. You are the reason that we are here. You died for us. Thank you for allowing us to prosper through 2024. We're almost halfway through it. And we want to allow you to take control of our lives and lead us into good and not evil. Amen. 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 Praise God for our young people. Well, it's all right. today is Resurrection Sunday. We've been waiting a long time. How many of y'all been waiting to get to this Sunday? I've been waiting a long time to get to this Sunday. This morning, me and my baby girl at quarter to five this morning, she came in my room. She said, happy Resurrection Sunday, Ma. I said, yes. She said, ah, that's way too much energy for this morning. I said, you don't understand. I said, he got up, so I ain't got to stay down. I said, I can keep going. I can keep going. I can live. I can live because I know my tomorrow's a coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ain't got to stay down. No matter what I've been through, he lifted me up. His love lifted me. His love lifted me. Hallelujah. That's why we're here today. We've been resurrected with him. Hallelujah. 
to God be the glory. And I, young people, are you guys coming to dance now? Okay, I'm gonna sit down. So they gonna come dance, then they gonna talk about the study they've been doing and youth with worship. They've been studying their identity in Christ. Can we give God some praise for that? Our young people ain't gotta get up, caught up in this cycle at school. They gonna know who they are and they gonna know who is within them. And they got the power to become whoever God has called them to be. So we invite our young people. Let's celebrate them. Can you stop clapping your hands and just release the sound of worship in this place? Not because I ask you to, but simply because you love them tonight. Come on, raise up your voices to this almighty God. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for your blood. We magnify you today. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Never forget the price that you paid. Thank you. With nails in his hands. Same time. Nails in his feet, a crown of thorns on his head, not a mumbling word, and you stay there, and I won't forget what you gave up for me. With nails in his hands, nails in his feet, a crown. Thorns on his head, not a mumbling word, and you stay there, and I won't forget what you gave up for me. And forever you'll never say the end of Father, we never shall forget tonight. If I today, yes, see with nails in his head, nails in his feet, a crown of thorns on his head, not a mumbling word, and you stay there. I won't forget what you gave up for me, Lord, Lord.
Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship forever. He is holy. Forever he is awesome. We give him all the praise. And all the honor and the glory. Hallelujah. 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 So today... The kids have been learning self-identity when we leave out of here on first and third Sunday. They're going to, Kayla, they're going to tell you about it in their own message. Good morning. Good morning. During Sunday school, we learned how God created us in his image. On June 12th, when I got baptized, my new identity was created. I will continue to read my Bible and pray for myself, family, and friends. I will try not to show my feelings on my face. Good morning. My self-identity is how God made me, so that's how, that's my self-identity, and he created me to be a good person. So in the next couple of months, we're periodically are going to bring other youth up as they prepare to tell you about their self-identity and what they're learning in class on first and third Sundays. just love hanging out with the kids. They keep my they keep me youthful. <laughs> and they keep me humble. Okay, so right now I'm going to ask Reverend Key to come forward so we can do our welcome. Our lovely Reverend Key isn't she such a blessing to this body? Amen. Good morning, greater family and friends. We thank God for this Resurrection Sunday. Aren't you glad that he rose? Amen. Because he lives, we live, and we are new creatures in him. We are complete in him. So this morning, I'm here to welcome all our visitors. So if you're visiting with us for the first time, we ask that you please stand. Amen. Amen. God bless you this morning. I'm going to bring the mic around. You can tell us your name and where you're from. 
My name is Tiffany Edge, and I'm coming from Bowie, Maryland, uh, representing the sanctuary at Kingdom Square in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, and Miss Esther McKnight is my auntie. Good morning, everybody. My name is Latea Hargrove. I'm from Patterson, New Jersey. I go to Canaan Baptist Church. <laughs>
I'm doing how I got over on Azusa 3 and Beverly Crawford is singing this song. I serve a risen Savior, he's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. Oh, y'all, wait, 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 wait. I know y'all ain't sitting on rising, uh, oh, you're sitting on Easter Sunday. Come on, put your hands together. I serve a risen Savior, he's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I feel his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. You ask me how I know he lives. Yeah, I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I feel his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. You ask me how I know he lived. Jesus lives. Christ Jesus lives with me. He walks with me and he talks with me along my narrow way. Jesus lives. Jesus lives. Salvation to impart. Ask me how I know he lives. 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 You can praise him if you want to. If you know he lives. You can shout if you want to. If you know he lives. I know he lives. I know he lives. I know he lives. I know he lives. Yes, 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 he lives. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives. Turn to your neighbor and say, I know he lives. We see my heart. Father, we thank you now for your love, your grace, and your peace for the resurrection of Jesus the Christ. We ask now, God, that you continue to be with us in this our worship experience, that we may feel the pulsating power of your presence. Move now with your quickening power. Kindle a flame of sacred love in 
these cold hearts of ours. We thank you, we love you, and we adore you. For we know that there is no God like our God. For you are God all by yourself. So we ask now that in this resurrected morning, that we may feel the presence of your spirit abiding with us still. So come Holy Spirit now, fall fresh on us. We thank you, we love you, and we adore you. And the people of God said, amen, amen, amen. amen. and hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Give him a hand of praise. We give God the glory. We give him the glory. We give him the glory. We give him the glory. How many of you know that the Lord is risen? The Lord is risen indeed. We give God the praise and the honor and the glory. If you have your Bibles, if you'll turn with us, we thank God that we're able to come and to worship and share with him in this, our resurrection um, Sunday morning worship experience that the Lord is indeed good. Amen. Look over to your neighbor and tell him he's good. Ah! That, that, was, that was the wrong neighbor. Turn to the other neighbor and tell him the Lord is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, he, he, is. Is, he is good. He is good. He is good. He is good. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I want to begin reading at verse number 20. Amen. Verse 20. Henry, you may you turn all the lights on for me. Verse 20. Amen. I mean, chapter 5, verse number 20. It says here, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Here it is, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the, recon the righteous righteousness of God in him. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. For the moments that we shall spend together, I want to tag this text from this thought, from this theme, from this premise. Love lifted Whoa, me. Love lifted me. Love lifted, love lifted me. Love, love lifted, lifted me. But God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's where Paul ends it in 2 Corinthians chapter number 5. Um, then he picks it up in 6 and says, We then, as workers together with him, also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. And so he didn't just leave it there in 521, but he picks it up in 61 and says, now we plead together with him, knowing now that the grace of God is not going to be in vain. Why, Brother Dumas? Because God's love has lifted us. Why did it lift us? It lifted us because while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now, I know this is Easter Sunday morning. There's some who have yet to hear me and some who have not yet found to find the vibe of what we've been experiencing all through these years, all through these years and all through this month. And so don't y'all get quiet on me on Easter Sunday morning. Y'all speak back to me now. Amen. Don't make it feel like I'm here all by myself. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. What it means is he, he got in our situation. He got in our stuff. And he helped us while we were in it. Okay, let me help you here. I shared it with our, our early morning service here. Uh, whatever you believe about, cry it out. 
cry it out. That is, that is the name of it, Desiree, cry it out. Whether it's an essential way to sleep train your child or, slip, or simply the not the right way for your family, um, there's no denying that the sound of a crying baby is particularly hard to ignore. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, a father, a father, a father was determined not to intervene with his daughter who was a one-year-old and wouldn't stop crying out uh, for him at bedtime. At bedtime, uh, Sister Bond, the dad, the dad, um, the dad, uh, while his daughter was crying, his daughter wasn't having it uh, the way that she wanted to that night. He felt she was not feeling well. He, he tried to let her cry it out, uh, but didn't have it in him to commit. And so he had a breaking point. He had a breaking point. Catonia, uh, it's something about hearing your child crying that gets under your skin. Like, like even when you know nothing's wrong and, and they're just fussing, like nothing's wrong and they're just making noise, it bothers you and, and you just want to pick them up and hold them close to you until they stop crying. Anybody in the house? Uh, this father, this father, this father, the story goes on to say, couldn't take it anymore. He decided since he couldn't take her out of the crib, he moved some of her stuffed animals, Dr. Lynn, out of the crib, and he climbed right into the crib next to her. And while we certainly don't recommend this move of climbing in the crib with him, with the child, but what the father did was he got in her situation. He got in her predicament. And he helped to soothe her in her pain. He didn't move her from the situation. He got in the situation. And that's what God did for us. When we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He got in our situation. You ought to look over to the person next to you and say, he's in your situation. Because quiet as it's kept, when you truly love someone, it begins to impact your whole life. Has anybody ever been in love in here? All your actions, take them into consideration. When you really love somebody, all your being, the totality of your being goes into effect. And you want to make sure that that person is doing all right. And that's what God did for us. He got in our situation. He became sin who knew no sin so that our situation could be better than what it was. So God took on sin. Love lifts us. True love is a love of action. You see, love is not something that can be shown only now and then. Yeah, yeah. When you truly love someone, it is demonstrated in all that you do. Get this, Winston, get this, Winston. I go, I go, personally, I go out of my way to be involved in the lives of those that I love. When someone genuinely demonstrates their love, it affects everything about you. It changes the direction that you're headed in. It changes the course of your living. It changes the course of your thinking. This is the love demonstrated by God as Romans chapter 5 verse number 8 tells us. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we are still sinners. This is a demonstration. One who gave it all and who changed the course of our lives. The resurrection of Christ, Sean, get this, lifts into the best of you even while you're manifesting the worst of you. You, you didn't get that. While you're in the worst of you, God's love is looking at the best of you. Love lifts you into the best of you while you are manifesting the worst. The Bible says Christ committed his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. So if that is the perfect example, that means we must display love. Watch this. You may not like it, but watch this. 
we must show love to non-believers. To people who don't look like us, to people who don't smell like us, to people who don't talk like us, to people who don't walk like us, who don't think like us, who don't love like us, we got to give them respect and give them honor because God The other day, the other day, the other day, I was talking to somebody. I was talking to somebody who, 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 who understands what it is that I do. And, and as I was talking to him, who understands what I do, and, and how he was feeling welcomed by our conversation. Get this, get this, get this about our conversation. And as we were talking about this, and he, 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 he was understanding how things are going to work out in his life, but he still found love in the aspect that there's somebody who goes to church who does not turn their back on him, but who still listen to his situation when others wouldn't give him a minute of their time. But I told him, don't, don't compare me with other folk because I'm not like other folk because I realize what you're talking about, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, tote bag, and the sneakers because I realize that I'm only just a finger snap away of being right back where you are. We got to get off our rusty, dusty, get off our high horse and realize that God brought us through many dangers, toils, and snares. He looked under the ungodly and brought us to the godly and we got to show some love. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Come on here. Love lifted. Get this, get this, get this, get this. I'm not gonna, I might as well say this. If you belong to God, if He created you, if He put His breath in your body, there's a chance, get this, there's a chance that that what's, what Easter brings to us is knocking at your door. What is it that, that Easter brings to us that's knocking at my door? I'm glad you asked. What Easter brings to us that's knocking at our door, watch this, is redemption. Church folk don't know when to shout. It's redemption. Not only is it redemption, watch this, there's a chance for salvation. And nobody is beyond the reach of the blood of Jesus Christ. The hymn writer says, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it'll never lose its power. And how do you get that power? Somebody put it this way, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my, is there anybody in here? Of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I'm, I'm happy all the day. That's why I can say this joy I got. The world didn't give it and the world can't take it. away. And so we as the body of Christ must keep our doors wide open, our arms wide open, our mouths speaking life. Life to people. We got to speak life to people who are broken because you don't know what people are going through and you don't know what tears they've shed. You don't know what abuse they were going through. You don't know what addiction they were on. You don't know what needle they just pulled out of their arms. You don't know what have been beating them down. You don't know how many foster homes they've been in. You don't know how many things they saw. You don't know what it is that got them hung up, strung up, broken down. You don't know the addiction that they're going through. But God says it ain't about what you're in. My love can lift. I wish somebody knew that no matter where you are, love will lift you and say, come on home. Is there anybody in here that realize that love has open arms? Love will lift you and say, come out of that addiction. Love will lift you and say, come out of that relationship. Love will lift you and say, come out of that situation. 
Is there anybody in here where love lifts you? Come on, I need somebody in here that's not going to be religious on this Resurrection Sunday, but somebody that can be human enough and somebody that can be honest enough that says it was the love of God that touched you. It wasn't your goodness. It wasn't your tithes and offerings. It wasn't that you got know the 66 books of the Bible. It was God saying enough. God says, I'm getting ready to deliver you to birth something out of your desolate womb. He says, I'm about to restore you. He said, that's what Easter is about. That's what it's about. He says, I am going to bring you out. 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 And, and, and so there ought to be some redemption stories. Ought to be some redemption stories in this house today. If you're a redeemed story, it doesn't matter where you are or what your situation is, you ought to be able to just stand up and say, thank you, God, for saving me. You ought to say, thank you, God, for bringing me through. You ought to say, it used to be drugs, but now it's Jesus. It used to be men, but now it's Jesus. It used to be women, but now it's Jesus. It used to be gluttony, but now it's Jesus. It used to be lying, but now it's Jesus. It used to be other sins, but now it's Jesus. It used to be adultery, but now it's Jesus. It used to be lying, but now it's Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, it's Jesus. Y'all to understand, love lifts you when nothing else could help. Love lifts you. And you know, the truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, I think my wife for this, what we have to do, uh, Henry, what we have to do when we come to deal with the resurrection and understand what the resurrection means to us and what it does, this, this hit me this week. And thanks to my wife for this. We have to get back. We have to get back. We have to get back, um, Sister Law Belinda. We got to get back to loving one another, not judging one another. Y'all just missed that. We got to get back to loving one another and not judging one another. Not beating each other up. It, 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 it seems that there are different versions of Jesus. Okay, y'all just missed it. I've noticed more and more um, incivility even among believers. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. People who sometimes attempt emotion manipulation to get you to see Jesus from their perspective. Okay, all right, this is becoming too, it's becoming too, deep, too, too, deep, too deep for you. Let me help you. Let me see if I can break this down to you. Guilt tripping people and shamming people into some type of interaction with Jesus. Okay, let me break it down a little bit more for you. I see. Okay, okay, okay. A Jesus who picks and chooses which sin he offended by. Okay, let me let me deduce that a little bit more. Jesus never says, Karen or never saw people as his enemy. He saw the devil as his enemy and the behaviors and the brokenness of people as his time of compassion. Okay, y'all just missed that. He, 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 uh, he saw the devil as his enemy and the behaviors and the brokenness of people 
he had compassion on. Okay, okay. I got one amen and two grunts. Let me see if I can help you. Where, where's, the, where's the compassion that we are supposed to display because of the resurrection of Jesus in our lives? It's not only towards unbelievers, but it's towards one another. Okay, Tina, can you do me a favor, Tina? Tina, Tina, Tina. I, 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 know, I, know, I, know, I know you've been busy trying to get your degree, and you got your degree, you got your nurse's license and everything else, and, you, and you've been trying to navigate through the floodwaters of trying to make it, and I, I know it's, it was tough traffic for you really trying to pass that exam and everything else, and you had to sit there and do it the nurses praxis and everything else and um, and so what, what I need what I need you to do I know you're starting to, to breathe a little bit and, and you got your head up above the water but but what I need you to do a little bit I, I know I know it's going to be a little bit um, uh, unbecoming for you Tina I'm just talking to you Tina right now I'm not talking to nobody else just me and you Tina what I just need you to do Tina right now is just I need you to just just tap the people around you on the shoulder and just say hi to some people just smile at them you know just to smile at them you know just, just you know some people have had a bad and a tough day you know just, just, just say hi to somebody, you know, you know. I'm just talking to Tina right now. Just, just, just me and Tina. Y'all don't have to do that, you know. Just, just Tina. I know. See, see, just, it's just Tina, you know. Because you don't think people that's around you haven't had a bad week, you know. They, 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 got, they got a bottle of pills in their pocket right now saying, if Rem don't come up with something right now on this Easter Sunday morning, I'm going to be in the, in the grave where Jesus was and, and I'm going to need somebody to resurrect me. But you ought to just tap somebody on the shoulder and give them a smile with all 32 or the ones you born and let them know you ain't by yourself, honey. I need to let you know that the joy of the Lord can be your strength. I know it's uncomfortable for you right now, but you ought to let somebody know. <sighs> um, let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm, I'm going to try to wrap this thing up. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Just, just, you know, this morning when I got here and, and I had a few moments to write this down here on my, on my notes here. And when I got in here and I saw that everything was in place and all that, and, and I said to the Lord, I said, you know something, I love this church because this church, this church is a people of love. And you know why? And you know why, Bianca, I love it? Because it just doesn't love people that are perfect, which, by the way, there are no such thing. I've been going to church my whole life, Angelo. I thank you, Angelo. For my whole life, and I've been in churches where I knew the Lord was there, but I only knew the Lord was there because of a supernatural encounter with God, not necessarily the interaction with some of the people. <laughs> I mean, but people here is that got some real love, you know, sitting, sitting around sitting around looking at the folk eat breakfast together and helping folk out, you know, that's love. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, folk just love each, each other. You know, love, love does not mean, let me, let me help you with this, let me help you with this. I'm, I'm almost through. Love lifted me, love lifted me. This, this, this helped me. Love does not mean agreement. You need to get this because we think love is the I love you. What we're really saying is I agree with you. You think like me. No, 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 that ain't it, Karen. That's not love. That's agreement. Love means I will pursue God's best for you even if you don't do the same for me. you know some people some people like this well 
If I sow love, I'll reap love. Now, that's talking about marriage. It's a separate thing. But I'm talking about people that you don't know. You got to love people, and you got to exhibit love and display love and just offer love that will lift people, that will get a seed, that will help you to know that they're not by themselves. You probably say, why are you talking so much about love today, Pastor? Is there anything going on in your, your relationship? No, ain't nothing going on in my relationship. Yeah, 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 thank you, baby. Say it again. We, yeah, we good. We, we good. We, we good. We, we, we so much good that when we put Aaron on the plane, he said, now y'all play nice. children that's lifting you, but it is the grace of God that lifts you. That's what resurrection means to me and it ought to mean to you. Love lifts you. Write this down. Love lifts you to the best of you, as I said, while you're manifesting your words. But watch this. Love also lifts you um, even while you're manifesting the worst of you. But the Bible says this way. Christ committed his love towards us. So while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us for the ungodly. So if that is the perfect example, that means we must display love to unbelievers. We said that. To people who don't look like us. We said that. Who don't think like us. We said that. We must love them. Give them respect and give them honor. We said all that, right? But watch this. Um, but this is how it works. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This is how it works. Love lifts us. Love lifts us. Get this. Love lifts us. Love lifts us into the desert areas of our lives and refreshes us and reminds us of who we are in spite of our circumstances. Did anybody ever find yourself in a desert place and you realize it was nothing but the love of God that refreshes you? It becomes an oasis. Um, um, what made you get up out of your bed early this morning? to come to church? What, what made you come and, and, and get dressed and to sit in a church that we don't turn the heat off and some of you feel so cold and, and feel so uncomfortable? What, what made you want to come here and sit next to somebody you don't even know and pastor got you smiling at them and talking about love? What, what got you in your best Sunday go to meet and close and you feel like you can still go home? What got you worrying about what's in your crock pot for dinner tonight? and you can still be home getting ready for dinner. What got you here? The fact that got you here is the love of God that lifts you, that tells you that I care about you. He wants to refresh you and put you in a place, in an oasis, in the midst of your desert. relationships not to fill you so that you'll come to him to be lifted. That's what resurrection is all about. That's what Easter is all about. Not about the pageantry. 
not about just the new clothes, but it's about how he touches your innermost being. When nothing else could help, love lifts First, first verse of that song, and then we're going to get out of here. This is, this is what I want to say about it. I was sinking deep in sin, far from a peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. Here it is. But the master of the sea. Now here's your part. Heard your despairing cry. You know what that means? You got to call on Jesus. heard your despairing cry and then from the waters lifted me now safe am I love lifted me Felix come on when nothing else could help love lifted me I think I muted it Felix go to go to show him how to go to the music Deborah and I think I muted it because we had that feedback that was an interference wasn't nothing that Felix did. Um, sometimes we get interference that come down here and interferes with our microphone, so we're sorry for the inconvenience. He's doing a wonderful job back there. Give him a hand. Good man. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I might have muted everything down there. He'll get it. He'll get it together. He'll get it together. Um, look over at your neighbor and just give him a smile and say, God is lifting me. You need me back to the devil. You need me, devil. You need me. No, no, cool it down. Y'all might need me. Hallelujah. Y'all need me. So, so we're going to do this. We're going to do this. This was powerful. See, um, last week, one of our friends, one of our friends teased us. And um, so my wife and I, um, we have this, this love relationship that we feed off each other. So they said that we are, we are, we are uh, uh, Tammy and, um, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Faye and Tammy, Faye, Faye and Tammy Baker. And so, um, um, so she's gonna come, um, she's gonna come and she's gonna like, get this together. I, I think I needed something. I, I just pulled out, I just pulled out all the slides and stuff, so I don't think I got it back right, Felix. You're doing all right, Felix, I'm gonna get you. She's going to, she's gonna give us, I hear something, I, I hear something. I hear something, you got it, Felix, I hear it. Is it coming? I love lifting. Love lifted me. Listen, I started off the day by saying love lifted me. I'm so grateful, but the part of the sermon that really hit home the most for me, and maybe um, it resonated with some of you. I'm gonna try to stand right here. Maybe you won't get that much feedback. Is when it talks about how we're in a desert place. Yes. That season of our lives when we're tapped out. We have nothing left to give. We may be low on money, low on faith, low on friends, low on love. But then it talks about how God becomes our oasis. Because we know in the desert, there's no water. But look at God. He will provide everything that we need, no matter what the season of our lives are we are in. And my own personal testimony, and I believe that God just opened up the door to share, you know, I was in a desert place this week. And I remember having to call on God, like hearing our despairing cry. I called on God. And I'm telling you, for all of those who pray for me, I want to say thank you right now. Because I felt every prayer you prayed this week. And when I tell you, I felt the power of the Holy Spirit literally lift me. Help me to walk the halls. Help me to smile when I wanted to cry. 
just help me to feel good. I'm telling you, the power of God's love is amazing. He was my oasis in the desert this week. How many of you have ever had that experience? You don't know where you got this energy from. But it's like, thank you, God. And as I was sharing that with my husband, I said, baby, I felt the power of God this week. Just as clear as day. Like, he just literally floated me. And for that, I'm so grateful. That's why I had to say, love lifted me. So I thank you for every prayer that you prayed on our behalf. Because Lord knows he hears every one of them. Amen. Amen. So come on, while we listen to this, why don't we all stand on our feet? Stand on our feet and get this going. Praise God. We know this. Just turn it up for us, feelers. We don't own the rights to this, but this is what God needs. You know it. Because if Jesus touched you, you know this is for you. It is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus. Come on, if you know it, just sing it with us. In my soul, for I have touched the hem of his garment, and his blood hath made me Jesus, yes it is Jesus, it's Jesus in my soul, for I have touched the hem of his garment, and his made me whole. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. It didn't mean any good. Yes, yes. You know this, Gene? I decided to give him a try. See how God works. If there's someone here who's yet to receive Jesus as being your personal Savior, why don't you come and receive him as we continue to sing that, sing that song, sing that chorus of that song. And we know that you're here and you want to come and give God your heart and give him your hand. Why don't you come and just give him your life right now? We, we, know, we know this song um, without the music and, um, and we want you to just come and just bless us. Bless us even, um, even now. Um, I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. 
because you cared for me. If you're here today, why don't you come? Such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. If there's one today, why don't you come? Because you cared for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. This is what we're going to do. Why don't you just look at somebody and just smile at them and just let them know I love you. Go look at somebody, somebody you didn't come to church with. Go to somebody you didn't come to church with and tell them the love of God is in your heart and I love you. Just go out of your way and tell them I love you, 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 I love you. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. If you're at home, if you're at home, turn to the person that's next to you and tell them, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. If you're by yourself, just hug yourself and just say, I love myself and there's nothing nobody can do about it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, yes, it's a love feast, it's a love feast, it's a love feast, it's a love feast, yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. All righty, all right. Come on, let's let's really celebrate and share. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. Let's give him a hand of praise. Let's give him a hand of praise. Amen. We pray that there's something that was said and done has been blessing to you. We are going to prepare for our offering, our offering. We're gonna prepare for our offering. Uh, we want you to give our offering and don't leave. We still have a little bit more to do after offering, but um, we want our offices are coming to prepare for our offering and um, our tithes and offering. If you're here with us and share with us, you can give the traditional way just uh, with your uh, gift. There should be some envelopes in the back of the pew. Uh, we take credit cards in the back, you'll see um, our officers in the back with the credit card machine. We take Visa, MasterCard, Discover. We also have our church app. If you go to your smartphone, your Google Store, or your App Store and download, just type in Greater Abyssinia. It'll take you to our church app. Download our church app, and, um, and then you can give through that way. We also have Zelle, um, and you can uh, see it on our Zelle and our push page. So come on and let's give. We want everybody to give. In our center, our Bell, Bell, that's Bell, right? Bella, that's Bella. Bella in our center, our Bella is Ariel. They told me Bella. Okay, Ariel. Ariel is in the center aisle. It's for our Easter offering. Our Easter offering is in our center aisle. In in envelopes. Hmm? You can use the envelope in the back of the pew for the Easter offering also. Just put your name on it and all, and it can be for your taxes and all, name, address. We'll make sure you get it. Our Easter offering, want everybody, please, if you can, if you can, if you can, make a sacrifice of everybody. If you can do a sacrifice of $10 for Easter offering, that will be helpful, helpful to our ministry. Amen. We were able to feed our ministries today for breakfast. We are able to do wonderful things. Our children have done wonderful things here. And so we want you to come on and help us in our ministry. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Let's pray together. Come on, let's pray. 
Let's pray. Father, we ask now that your blessings be upon our gifts. We thank you now for those who are coming to give. We know that you are going to pour out a blessing that we will not have room enough to receive it. But I am want to say that we will have room to receive it so that we can give even more back to you. We know the word says we can't beat your giving no matter how hard we try. But God, let us try to beat it. And so that you'll be able to show, we'll be able to show how grateful we are and how good we are for what you have done for us. Father God, we pray now in the name of Jesus that you will consecrate each and every person that's in this place right now. That as they give their gifts, God, you will let the light of your glory fall fresh on us. Consecrate every envelope. Consecrate every bill. We pray, God, right now in the name of Jesus that every bill will be consecrated. That it will be multiplied in Jesus' name. That everyone would walk in the name of Jesus. They will walk, God, and give as you have richly blessed us. We thank you now in the blessed name of Christ Jesus, your Son, our Savior, and my Lord, we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen and amen. Come on, let's worship and serve God. Come on, follow the directions of our ushers. Let's come. Let's come. Everybody, please stand. Everybody standing. Everybody standing. Everybody standing. Everybody standing. Come on. Everybody standing. Everybody standing, facing the walls. Let's bring our gifts. Everybody standing. Let's bring our gifts. Let's bring our gifts. Let's bring our gifts. Every praise is to our God, every word of worship in one accord, every praise, every praise to our God. Let's not forget our Easter offering in the center aisle, center aisle, our Easter offering, Easter offering in the center aisle. Every word of worship in one accord, every praise. Let's go back to our seats. Let's go back to our seats. We'll be leaving in a moment. We'll be leaving momentarily. To our God, glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Amen. Come on, everybody, let's have a seat. Praise God. Praise God. Test it, test it. Hallelujah. We, we are ready. Yeah, yeah. I feel it's just turning down just a little bit. Feel it. Just turn it down just a little bit. Don't turn it off, but just turn it down. So we're going to have our young people going to come. Our young people going to come. Our young people going to come. And they're going to have their little Easter parade. Amen. And so they're going to come and, and do it here. Just come around and, and share with us. Amen. I need to get in that line too with my nice little blue suit that y'all haven't seen. One of the members said, Reverend, it's good to see you in the suit again. Praise God. Yeah. I said, don't get too used to it. 
and I'm getting too used to it, you know, it's Easter. I was gonna put a robe on today, but I said, I'll just throw the seat on. Come on, young people, come on, young people. Let's put our hands together. Let's clap our young people as they come. Amen, look at our young people, our young people. My God, look at them, look at them, look at them. Just take them on up, Bianca, you take them on up and let them come on back around. Wow, look at that, look at that, look at that. How many of y'all remember y'all Easter outfit? Uh-huh. Wow. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Come on, put your hands together for our young people. Amen, amen. All right, any of my old people want to come on march? You old people, y'all got y'all Easter stuff on too. We, we can march with y'all too. Praise God, hallelujah. Thank you all, thank you all. They had a wonderful time on yesterday. Come on, Sean, I want to take your thunder. Amen, praise God. Praise God, hallelujah. Let us give the Lord a hand of praise on this morning for this beautiful res Resurrection Sunday. Okay, that doesn't want to work today. Hold on, good. So giving honor to the spirit of Christ, thanking God for Dr. Potts, Lady Kiva, to the official board, all members and friends. We just want to say thank you for this Resurrection Sunday and also spring break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And so, um, just want to take a few minutes um, to give you a few um, announcements for your listening ear. Um, we want to thank Pastor Lady Kiva and the official board for that wonderful breakfast this morning. So if you did not partake, you missed a treat. Also, we want to thank Sister Shelby Smith and she, her kiosk out in the hallway. If you did not have any of her coffee or lattes, please stop by immediately after morning service. It is wonderful. It is her own business. So please go out, get her card, and have some coffee. Amen? Amen. Uh, let us remember to pray for those who are sick, those who are shut in, and those who are convalescing, and those who care for those who are convalescing. We are so excited to see Sister Yvette Bynum with us this morning. Amen. She had surgery, and she's able to shower and everything. So to God be the glory. And then I did see Sister Belinda Potts. She's here too. Mama Potts is here this morning. We see a lot of people this morning. So we say thank God for, your, for his healing hand. Also, we do want to continue to pray for Sister Vivian Lassiter, who is at White House, and Sister um, Charity Baxter, who is at... Oh, is she home? Okay, so she did go home. Praise God. Amen. Um, we do have the sad intelligence to share with you that our own brother, Hardy Bright, passed away this week. Brother Part Hardy Bright um, passed away. His sister's coming up, Sister Betty Brown, from North Carolina this week um, to prepare the um, funeral arrangements. So when we get that information, we will let you know. But please continue to pray for the Bright and the Brown family. Amen? Amen. Uh, let's see. I want to say, where did he go? Come on, Daddy Pass. Come on up here really quick. Because we're going to shout you out this morning. Today is John, Daddy, Henry. Is John Henry Potts Sr.'s birthday. Okay. Amen? It's Pastor's father. So come on up, and we're going to do a real impromptu happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Amen. I'm, tr I'm truly blessed, you know. Yes. 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 Uh, 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 what did I say? I'm blessed, and I'm blessed to stand here and look at my son. And... <laughs> 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 
Yeah. You know, uh, one, one thing I, 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 I can tell all of you, you know, God answered my prayer. Yeah. I'm going to tell all y'all something that you never didn't know that I never needed to say. God answered my prayer because it's something that I've been wanting in life coming up. And God used, used me, yeah. you know, in you know, a different way. Yeah. You ask me for it, I'm going to give it to you. Just you give me a, my son. Yeah. And I'm saying this, I'm saying this from my heart. God, that's a prayer. Because my son is something that I want to be. I don't want to be a minister. But God is my answer. You say, well, I can't get you. But I'm going to use you in a different way. Yeah. Uh, um, you can look at yourself through me. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. What you say, why I come to church? I come to church because God has a prayer. And why should I not come and listen to what he gives me? Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Yes, yes. Thank you, Daddy Paz. Happy birthday. Wishing you many, many more. Uh, we just want to remind you that we have our prayer conference line on Monday through Friday from 7 to 8 o'clock a.m. We have our Zoom Bible study on Wednesday evenings at 7 o'clock p.m. And then we want to remind our uh, pastor's aid ministry to please log into our prayer conference line Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. So anyone who is on the prayer, um, pastor's aid or anyone who wishes to join the pastor's aid, please log on to our prayer conference line Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen. So these are your announcements. May God continue to bless and keep you. We want to continue to pray for Aaron Potts and his French class that are in Paris, France this week. So we thank God for his wonderful journey, and we pray God's blessing on their safe return. God bless you. Enjoy your day. I love you. There is nothing you could do about it. Remember, love lifted us on today. Amen. Amen. All right. So we thank all of you. Thank all of you for coming to share with us. And um, we have special, special, special treat and surprise. I don't know if many of you remember, but I was um, uh, surprised to, to see and to have them back. How many of you remember um, one of our um, um, older, older members um, who was here and then they uh, relocated, but came back? How many remember Miss Maddie Pearson? Maddie Pearson. Miss Maddie Pearson, stand up, Miss Maddie. Miss Maddie is back. She relocated back here to New Jersey, and she is back here with us. It's good seeing you, and her, her, her daughter is back here. I, I never, I, I, I did your marriage. I forgot. I keep forgetting your name. I just remember Teresa. Tell me your name. Tanya. That's right. Tanya and Teresa. Amen. And, Sister Maddie, good seeing you and welcome back. You keep on coming back here now. You're here. If we got a spot for you. And you came and sat right back in your same seat. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's good to see you all. Good to see all of you sharing with us. Come on back and share with us again. And the Lord is doing great and wonderful things. We have great things that's um, in the pipe that's coming down to continue to build our ministry to grow us together as believers in Christ. I believe if we can build the inside, it'll deal with everything on the outside. And I'm a firm believer of that, that God has potential that's yet birthed in you, that's untapped in you, and he's trying to tap it in you so that you can walk in your God-given right. And you see a living testament of what God can do. Amen. 
God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Let's continue to lift up everyone and know that love lifts us. Amen. Do stop by. Do stop by the um, uh, the the, uh, the the cart and uh, get you a nice latte. You don't have to go to uh, Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and all that sort of stuff. You can stop right here and uh, and do that. That would be that's part of our future ministry that will help us go here. I believe she may have pastries too that's there uh, for you and uh, share uh, share with us. Uh, we're ready to go. Come on, let's stand. Good seeing all of you. Good seeing all of you. Good seeing all of you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Um, I, I, I see uh, intermediate faces. Now, who'd y'all come with? With the baby? I just christened that baby? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, praise God. Well, welcome back. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, I don't know, it's just a whole bunch of people. They got mixed up and so yeah. wow. They, how are you? Alrighty, so we're ready to go. Come on. And I'm trying to see. Amen. How are you? Connect to Felix? Who's that? Felix's dad. Hello, how are you? Good seeing you. You got a wonderful, wonderful family. Yes. Good. I'm glad we'll see you next week. Yes. All righty. All righty. And uh, Adriana's mom, good seeing you back there, too. Amen. Go see you next week, too. Amen. Praise God. Um, yes, yes, yes. Good seeing you, too. Praise God. From whom all bless. I'm everybody back here next week. Hey, good seeing you, too. Praise God. Grand Key's, Grand Key's daughter. Amen. I mean, she's always in and out of you back. When you get back from Africa, or you've already been back? You, you get ready to go. Oh, okay, all right. You need somebody to carry your luggage? Yeah. No? Yes, yes, okay. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's go. We're ready to go. Father, we, we thank you. Yes, Irvin. I mean, Monique, I'm sorry. The kids going to come around, and you're going to be over here on this side in an orderly fashion to get your Easter uh, of things and all. And so we want to shout out, we want to shout out Kim. Kim did a wonderful job. Kim, she did our banner. She helped to decorate the pulpit, everything else. We thank God for you, Kim. Amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise God, praise God. Also, um, Monique, help me to remind, let's pray for Carla Renee Shepherd. Carla Renee Shepherd on this coming Friday will no longer be as Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday, will no longer be a shepherd. Y'all don't have to jump on me. No longer be a shepherd. She will be um, married on Saturday. So let's pray for Carla Renee. I spoke to her this past week, and so she is indeed on pins and needles. So let's pray for Carla Renee Shepherd and uh, lift her up. Oh, the baskets are Yasmin's creations. Well, Yasmin, Yasmin has her own business also. We, I mean, we got a lot of creative people here, guys. Real live, live creative people. We need to start tapping into them and start utilizing them. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We love you. We give you the praise. Be with us now as we leave this place from from your presence and make your love abide with us. And now may your grace, fellowship with the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with all, both now and forevermore. And the people of God say, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Give somebody a hug and tell them, Love lifted me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Felix, just start that music again. Just start it again. Just hit, just click it again, Felix.